education is something that changes the fate and future of a person, a nation, or a country. If one is educated, there is a very, very vast field before him. Likewise, if the nations are educated, they have all the weapons with them to dominate lot many evils, lot many threats, and lot many other things which can bother them. That's why today, if we see at every step, we find a school, we find a university, we find a, a college, and we find various methods of education. Our Prophet وسلم, is known as Nabi Ummi, but remember that he was the most educated person in the world and he will remain till the last sun sets in the west. He was educated by the Lord Almighty Allah for 23 and a half years and the Quran was revealed on him. You can have education system, education institutions and proper education if you have the infrastructure, first of all. You can only have the infrastructure if you are aware of this need, this necessity, this indispensable requirement to, to be met for the society. But if you don't have any such requirement, any such things, then you are not likely to have any institutional infrastructure. And if there is no infrastructure for education, then one should not expect that the nation will move ahead, will march ahead, will go ahead, will become a leading nation. The Arabs, we are particularly talking about them before Islam, they had no formal education whatsoever. There were only two things. One, that's local poetry and Dastan Goi jise hum Urdu mein keh sakte hain. Wo, aur wo ek aad shair hota tha kisi kabile mein aur ek aad Dastan Go hota tha aur wohi unki education hoti thi. Aur baaki sara kuch paidaish se le kar till the last day a person would remain absolutely uneducated, illiterate, ignorance. And ignorance means offensiveness. Every tribe, since their basic division was tribal, so every tribe considered him superior to the other tribe. So they had their own ethics or their own culture. All tribes lived according to their own culture and according to their own ethics. Every tribe had his own system to run the tribe and they would not let anybody else interfere in that system. And that's how they remain absolutely uneducated. 